there is currently a significant strike by waste collection workers that results in piles of garbage accumulating in the streets of Paris. Similarly, strong social tension is reflected in almost daily demonstrations, sometimes very violent, in the streets of the capital. These protesters want the withdrawal of the new retirement law, which raises the retirement age in France from 62 to 64 years old. I got yesterday a comment by one of my subscribers asking me with all these issues if it was reasonable to come and visit Paris in 2023. I have to admit it, the question is worth asking considering the current situation. So let's see the pros and the cons of coming to Paris in 2023. While Paris is a fantastic city to visit, there are some potential drawbacks that visitors should be aware of. Here are some cons to visiting Paris in 2023. France has a culture of strikes and above all of demonstrations. There are not necessarily more strikes in France than in other countries of Europe such as the United Kingdom, for example, but the French are much more often in the streets to express their demands. As seen in my introduction, Paris, as the capital city of France, is subject to both strikes and demonstrations. While these are typically temporary, they can still be very disruptive to visitors' plans. Like any major city, Paris has its share of crime and safety concerns and that is reflected on a lot of YouTube channels. Even the worst can happen. A 27-year-old American female tourist was raped in a public toilet in central Paris. Visitors should be aware of their surroundings and take precautions to protect their belongings, especially in crowded areas, or even protect themselves in less crowded areas. There are also a few neighborhoods that should clearly not be visited, especially in the north of Paris. In Paris, as in many large cities, many people will try to scam you. The first scam is the fake petition scam. Eastern Europe women, often pretending to be deaf like here, ask you to sign some kind of petition and then ask you for money after you sign it. As a bonus, while you do that, another girl will pickpocket you. Second scam. The three card trick or the three cup trick. I can guarantee you, you will never win with this trick. The only people who you see winning are accomplices of the showman. On this third scam, some African guy will try wrapping a string around your wrist, keeping you trapped until you have it on and asking for 10 euro. Someone else may also pickpocket you while you are doing this. A lot of tourists are falling into this trap, mainly around Le Louvre and in Montmartre. Don't be afraid, be aware. As you know, forewarned is forearmed. The odds are in your favor and these things should normally not happen to you. Just be vigilant and stay alert. We can also talk about crowds. Paris is a popular tourist destination. And as such, it can be very crowded especially during peak travel season. This can make it difficult to navigate popular attractions and can result in long lines and wait times at the Eiffel Tower, at the Louvre Museum or at the Palace of Versailles. So yes, tourists should be aware. Clearly, Paris is not the romantic paradise some might think of. Overall, while these cons may present some challenges, with proper planning and preparations, visitors can still have a wonderful time in Paris in 2023, and I'll show you why. Despite the occasional strikes and temporary issues with waste management, 
Paris remains one of the most beautiful and culturally rich cities in the world, with plenty to offer to visitors. Here are some reasons why you should still consider visiting Paris this year. Paris is the most visited city in the world. It is home to the most visited museum in the world with Le Louvre. And before it burned, Notre Dame was the most visited monument in the world. Last but not least, many polls reveal that the Eiffel Tower is considered the number one most famous landmark on Earth. Paris has a fascinating history and is home to so many museums, art galleries and historical sites that offer insights into its past. Of course, we have to talk about food and wine. Paris is famous for its culinary scene, with countless cafes, restaurants and bakeries offering delicious French cuisine. France is also known for its excellent wine, and there are plenty of wine bars and cellars to explore in the streets of Paris. If you follow this channel, you know that every month I select one French signature restaurant in Paris and make a review of it that you can find here. Paris, what a vibrant atmosphere. Paris is a city that never sleeps, with a vibrant atmosphere and plenty of activities to keep visitors entertained, day and night. Whether you are interested in shopping, sightseeing, or just soaking up the local culture, there's always something to do here. Also, 2024 will be the year of the Olympic Games in Paris. If this can represent a fantastic opportunity to combine the pleasures of the visit with the joys of attending a planetary event, you may think that accommodations and attractions will be more readily available in 2023 versus 2024, with a lesser cost and with smaller crowds. Overall, while strikes and issues with waste management can be inconvenient, they are temporary and should not deter you from experiencing all that Paris has to offer. With so much to see and do, a visit to Paris is definitely worth considering. And personally, I'd rather do that in 2023 than 2024.